I thought the dough might be ready by this time, but I think I'll wait maybe another hour or so. Uh, I see some bubbles and it feels really nice. But I just would like to see a little more activity. The dough actually feels kind of foamy. I think I will just wait a little bit longer and fold it one more time here. So this is the fourth time folding. Uh, actually, from the way it feels, I think I might leave it alone. I'm going to let it set just a little bit longer since I started folding it. And uh, I think maybe I'll give it a half an hour and then we'll divide it. It feels a lot more foamy and bubbly than I thought it did just by looking. And that's just because of it being such a high hydration. So I'll give it a half an hour since I decompress some of the bubbles out of the dough. We'll give it a little bit longer to regrow those bubbles and we'll divide it and get it ready for its final proofing. Okay, I got that half an hour in and it's really looking bubbly and foamy and puffy. Really nice looking dough. So I'm going to divide it into four pieces and two of them I'm going to go ahead and shape and then I'll wait uh, a little a while and then I'll, I'll do the other two so they're staggered for the oven. I'm not going to weigh them, I'm just going to eyeball because it doesn't really matter if they're the, if they're exactly Wow, even hard to cut this gluten, it's so nice. I sprayed my bench knife so it doesn't stick on as much. flour out here on my work surface. This is whole wheat flour. Okay. So I'll take this one first. I've got a parchment paper on the back of a baking sheet so that I can slide it off real easily and it's got some flour on it. So I will go ahead and put these up on there. I think I will flip once. You can see what I'm doing. I can't show everything at once, unfortunately, but I, I took it and I flipped it over once and now I'm just going to place it up on the cookie sheet. Okay, so uh, I've got the oven preheating right now. I will wait a little while and then I'll go ahead and, and shape the rest of them because I don't want them going going into the oven at the same time. So we'll let these final proof and we'll be baking them off really soon here. Okay, I shaped these second loaves and the first ones are just about ready to go in. We'll be putting them in the oven here pretty quick. Okay, let's get these in the oven here. Put them in there for about 15 minutes and then we'll take off the lid. Okay, for the big reveal, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm really hoping it came out good, but we'll see. 
Well, they're looking pretty nice. I have the feeling the next batch is going to be a little bit better, but we've got some pretty nice bubbles there. It took me a little too long to get these into the oven. I had company come by, so uh, I think the next batch will be a little better, but it's looking good. They look like they're done. So oh, here's the first two. That one was a little flat. That one came out really nice. So we got the next two to go in still. So we'll see how they are when I slice into them. Looking pretty interesting so far. Here's the finished bread. It's 125% hydration and it's made with half red spring wheat and half white hard wheat. It has the most wonderful toasty, delicious, weedy flavor. It is just really good. It almost is like I put some uh, malt in it, but I didn't. Well, there you go, Claudio and Guy. I hope that a lot more people jump into this challenge and have as much fun as I did. I'll have to try another bake and see if I can go just a little bit higher. Thank you, Guy, for starting the challenge, and thank you, Claudio, for always inspiring all of us to work with the higher hydration dough. This really has been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.